Okay, so in this video, I will teach you step-by-step uh, -step on how to install Astra for the Fleet theme. Now, if you click on the download theme, you can see that you have options here to download. You can click on that, download now. But these are actually premium themes, okay? You'll see that uh, there are payments to be made. Now, however, there is a procedure that I will teach you how to do so that you can integrate it in your website for free. So I'll go to our dashboard now. Let's go to the dashboard and go to appearance and then themes. Okay, and now select or click add new theme. Click here and search for Astra theme. Okay, and click install. Once the theme is installed, just click activate. If you will view the site, you will see that Astra theme is activated. Let's go back to our dashboard. And what we do is you go to plugins and then add new. We will download ready-made templates. So just search for Astra starter sites. Then install it, click install now. and hit activate. Now we need to install another one which is the Elementor. Now Elementor plugin will allow you to customize your Astra theme to make the ready-made templates yours. Okay, so in order to install that just click add new plugins. You can also click here add new and then search for Elementor. and then click install now. Once Elementor is installed, click add activate. All right, so all necessary plugins are now installed. We have the Elementor and we also have the Astra starter site. So you click C library and you select Elementor and here you will be able to download free templates or ready-made templates in your website. Now I'm planning to create a portfolio so I think this template here is what I want so I can click a preview or I can just click on that And this looks good for me or my portfolio so what I will do now is to click install now there are plugins that are required for this template so you just install that click install now and then click in import this site okay now it says Executing demo import will make your site similar to ours. Please bear in mind it is recommended to run import on a fresh WordPress installation. Importing site does not delete any of the pages or posts, however, it can overwrite your existing content. Now, copyrighted media will be imported. Instead, it will be replaced with placeholders. Okay, so just read the terms here and just click OK. Then, what this does is it will import all your contents. All right, so it says done. So we we'll just click and view the site. All right, so we have now the template on our website. So this is the current look of our website now. So next is to make this our own by editing with 
Elementary. Click Edit with Elementary. All right. Once the Elementary is ready, all you have to do is uh, change the content and make this your own. If you have a background photo, like the background here, you can click. You can also right click and then uh, you can du duplicate. You can edit the selection, and here. You can edit the layout, the style, if you want to change the background, if you want to delete it and change it your own, you can do that. So uh, you can also just change it to a just a background color. We can also change the text here by going to that particular area and double clicking there then typing what the content right same thing with other texts you can just start typing you can change the typography the size you can increase the size so that's it so what basically left to do is you just update this with your own text and your images and voila everything is good to go if we will visit our website this is how it currently looks like so you can go to Appearance and then Astra sites. You can go to Astra options here, and then you can change your logo. You can uh, adjust the header layout, the blog layout. So basically, you can just you know play around with this one, and you know change the logo. So if you want to change the logo, you just upload the logo that you want. Now let's try this very quickly. Right, so you can remove the logo. You can remove that and change or upload your own. Upload your own. Now let me just use this picture here, maybe this one, and I'll just make that as a logo. But of course, you need to uh, upload your logo there. Right. So here it is, and then you just hit publish, and then if you will reload the page. Now the our logo is here. If you go back to your website and go to the dashboard, and go to pages here, pages, and then click all pages. This will give you all the pages of your website that you have all right so if you want to rearrange your menu all you have to do is to go to appearance and then go to menus and here you will see all the pages that compose your menu structure so if you want to create another menu or you can edit the existing one you can do that as well but in my case I will click create a new menu and I'll just give it a name I'll name it my menu and then I will just click create menu right the menu has been created and I will make that as my primary menu and I also want that to be my footer menu so the next thing to do is just to add the pages that you want to be included on that menu so you can just click you can basically just create the pages that you want all right then just click add to menu once the menu has been added you can just drag and drop and rearrange them like so Right, so I'll just save the menu 
And if we will reload the website, you will see that it's now our primary in menu. So basically you can improve this a little bit more by adding your own images and changing the text here with Elementor. So that's it. Thank you.